Hi everybody, this is Anne Emery with Excel for Evaluators. This video tutorial is about the AND symbol in Excel. The symbol gives you a lot of flexibility and it saves you a lot of time. So let's check out one example here. I have my fake data set of evaluators with ID numbers, first names, last names, and just some fake data questions 1 through 10. You can see from this little arrow in my filter that I already sorted the ID numbers from least to greatest. And by having the first names and last names in different columns, I can also sort alphabetical by first name. Maybe I need to sort alph alphabetical by last name. Maybe I need reverse alphabetical, whatever you need. But sometimes you also want to combine your data so that you have your first and last names in the same cell. It makes pasting into Word or whatever program you need later a lot easier. So we can combine them using the at symbol. Just type in equals and then select the first name, do the and symbol here, select the last name, press enter, there you go, it's all in the same column. So here is the first name and the last name. You can look for this little square right here, double click, goes all the way down. But what's the problem? We're missing the space in here. No big deal, we're gonna go back up. So we've got the first name and, and then just add a space. So put in quotation marks, press the space bar, more quotation marks, another and symbol, and press enter again, perfect. There you've got a space between Anne and Emery. So click this little square, perfect, there you go. Sometimes you wanna do last name, comma, first name. Okay, let's do it again. So we want our last name and our first name. So that's good, except obviously we're missing the space and we might need to have a column just to make it a little bit easier to read. So we know how to add the space already. Just add the physical space and another and sign, whoops. So that's a little bit better, but to make it even easier to read, let's add a comma right here. So this starts to get a little confusing. Uh, no big deal, just look, it's already color coded. So C2, blue, that's the last name. Then you did the and symbol because you're adding another piece to your equation. And when you're typing in any um, symbols or text or numbers, you have to put quotation marks around it. We have another and symbol and then green B2 tells us that it's the first name. So just press enter and we have voila last name comma first name double click all the way down ready to go nice and easy for you so that's the and symbol thank you